Welcome to Amazing Seattle. In this video, you will gain insights about the future of work here in the United States on the West Coast, including a very important hint to consider. And we also share six reasons why Seattle is so beautiful. So let's dive into that. We are the Schnells. From 2018, we explore the future of work around the world. The US is country number 53 on our global journey and we are happy to bring you the most inspiring insight from Seattle. There are two knowledge exchange meetings we want to talk about in this video. We had the chance to go to the mother of all Starbucks, the headquarter here in Seattle. And we had a great talk with one of the directors. Due to strict regulations, we cannot share some footage from within, but we can assure you the Starbucks coffee within the Starbucks is also really amazing. We want to share one insight we extracted for you. The work philosophy at Starbucks is that nobody does the extraordinary alone, but rather for relationships. So we can ask ourselves, how we foster better collaboration these days and what is our action we proactively do for that. The other meeting we want to talk about is with Jim Benson, one of the Kanban people and the founder of the Lean Coffee and the Personal Kanban. One of my favorite tools and methods. He said something really interesting when it comes to Kanban, Scrum, etc. And he pointed out one important thing. It's not about putting all the work into these frameworks no matter what. It's more about finding out how our work can get enabled and also supported by the different frameworks. So we have to change the perspective on that. So it is necessary that we adjust certain frameworks so that they really work for our work. But we need to not take ourselves so seriously that the we take it personally when things don't work out. Because human beings only do two things reliably and that's screw things up and die. Those are the only two things that we do flat out well <laughs> and everything else is a challenge. Uh, so anything else is a gift. I find that an uplifting message, but other people might be like, oh man, I need a drink after that. <laughs> <laughs> we will see, what do you think? Uh, and he added something interesting about impediments. But in essence, what you do is you get your team or your teams together and you don't just map out the work, but you map out the relationships where people collaborate, where they don't collaborate, where information isn't exchanged properly and where there are problems, which you identify while you're mapping out that work, where do things not work quite right. You figure out what is the breakdown here? And it's almost always a collaborative breakdown fungible human beings at different stations doing things. But in knowledge work, all of our work is collaborative and we're still stuck in models that treat it like an assembly line. This is my work, this is my user story, this is my section, I don't do testing or whatever, you know, things like that. Literally everywhere, people want to go to work, they want to do a good job, uh, they want to know when they go home that they left things in a better state than when they got to work. And everywhere on earth, we do stupid things <laughs> that don't let them do that. So how do you discuss your impediments and what are learnings you already gathered? Tell us in the comments what makes your work extraordinary. And of course, we had to visit and explore this beautiful city. Check out the six reasons why we love Seattle. One extraordinary is the Gasworks Park here in Seattle. Head there if you want to have the most amazing view over the city and we celebrate our wedding anniversary there. Second, stroll around the residential area near Kerry Park because it's amazing. You are going to see great and impressive houses. Number three, food in Capitol Hill. Here you can find delicious food from all around the world. We like the bagels from Rubenstein's in the morning the most. Mm, yum. And for dinner, we also have a special tip. Go to Agora, which has amazing Greek food and delicious wine. Number four is a classic. Pike Place Fish Market. It's not a secret at all, but a very entertaining place to visit. 
and watch the fishmongers throwing their big fishes. Number five, a landmark for a reason. Enjoy the beautiful space needle. It is not only an eye catcher, you also find plenty of entertainment around it. And number six, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Visit the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for a free tour or just for exploring by yourself. Extraordinary things are going on here in Seattle. So tell us what you think about the extraordinary work you do. Next on our modern work tour is San Francisco and the Silicon Valley. We are going to have super interesting meetings in this tech mecca. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any global insights about the future of work. And like always, take care. Stay bold. And ciao, ciao. ciao.